Coming to the first problem, check whether the following are quadratic equations. Now coming to the third bit which is x minus 2 times of x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times of x plus 3. So on left hand side we have x minus 2 times of x plus 1. This can be written as x multiplied by x plus 1 minus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. And on right hand side we have x minus 1 times of x plus 3. This can be written as x times of x plus 3 minus 1 times of x plus 3. So x times of x plus 1 is x square plus x and minus 2 times of x is minus 2x minus 2 times of 1 is minus 2 and x times of x is x square x times of 3 is 3x and minus 1 times of x is minus x and minus 1 times of 3 is minus 3. So on left hand side we have x square plus x and minus 2x it becomes minus x and this is minus 2 and on RHS we have x square plus 3x minus x becomes plus 2x and this is minus 3. Now let us transpose this terms on the right hand side to the left hand side. So this becomes minus x square and minus 2x and plus 3 is equal to 0. So x square and x square will be cancelled and minus x minus 2x becomes minus 3x minus 2 plus 3 becomes minus 1. So the final equation obtained is minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. We know that the general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. But if we notice the final equation is minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. We don't have any x square coefficient term. So x square is missing in this equation. So we can say that the given equation is not a quadratic equation.